Woman makes a disturbing discovery on her front porch, a flyer depicting hateful images of African Americans taped to a bag of dog food, a message so disturbing she says she couldn't sleep for days. More people in Texas are finding similar letters on their properties. Ken's Five's Alicia Niaves learned why. I want to bring awareness to it because I don't want it to happen to anybody else. This woman, Nobody who asked we withhold her name, just moved to St. Hedwig from Columbia, South Carolina. This is not how we want to be welcomed to the state. October 4th, she says she found this flyer on her porch taped to a bag of dog food. The cartoon depiction of what they think black people look like, what they think we should be hanging from. Um, it was hurtful. We're not showing the drawings or the website on the flyer promoting white supremacy. They want a white America. The Anti-Defamation League, or ADL, says that's exactly what these groups want. There are uh, at least uh, two, possibly three different groups who are focused on drawing attention to themselves for really purposes of raising money for their, their so-called cause. ADL says these occurrences are on the rise in Texas, in both the inner cities and the suburbs, specifically on weekends. The reason? These groups are making money off of these flyers, and they feel empowered with the current political climate. In our country, you know, we have the First Amendment, and, and people are allowed to express themselves no matter how disgusting and despicable uh, their thoughts and ideas might be. And hurt people hurt people. The woman asked her neighbors if they got the same flyer. They told her no. She filed a report with the sheriff's office. If you are going to drop it off, don't run. We can have a conversation. See, to me, that's cowardly when you leave the note and run.